All right, so now all I have to do is come back up here to scene properties and choose where I want to export this new 3D file. And I'm just going to export it to my. Um, well, I have a folder that I'm going to export it to. It's called New Creation. Ooh, never mind. It's got quite a few in there. So I'll just, for now, I'll just put it on my desktop. It's going to be a dot model file. Let me make sure I don't have any dot model files on my desktop. I don't. So I'll come back over here and just choose desktop. It'll be, you can click right there, click accept, and then choose export. And as you can see, the headband is now out of place. If I move this thing around by holding my mouse, middle mouse click button and just by hold it down and just move your mouse around, you can see the headband is mess is actually kind of inside the head. I can manipulate the headband later. I'm not so much worried about the headband. I just want to make sure I have the... Um, I just want to really make sure I have the head shape correct. If I go into edit mode, it should still be there. Okay. So I'm going to click minimize here. Here's my dot model file that I just exported and created. Now, in order for me to get this in the game, which cyberface makers will already know I have to put this in um, inside of a PNG if file so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that cuz I got this from Carmelo Anthony so I'm gonna go wait the base model I use was Carmelo Anthony so this is Carmelo Anthony's PNG if I'm going to copy that to my desk desktop and I'm going to rename it all right now you need to have Louis hook installed before you run your game if you guys don't know what Louis hook is then you're way behind the curve you got to kind of catch up on all my videos and tutorials um if you're trying to learn this but if you're an experienced modder and you're a cyber face maker all right you'll know louis hook you've already got it installed so what i'm going to do is i can rename this to just about whatever i want as long as i keep the same um way of renaming so png and then so a uh, numbers so i'm going to just rename it to um 6293 PNG 6293 because that's the original Cyberface ID for Marcus Young. Then I'm going to go back to my Marcus Young folder inside my old 2K files. Right here, I'm going to grab that face 6293.if file, drag it to my, de well, copy it to my desktop. Let me make sure I'm recording. Okay, I'm still recording. Sorry guys that this has been so long, 20 minutes. Huh. All right, so anyway, the face.if file will still work for 2K20. It's interchangeable between 2K18, 19, and 20. All right, so thank God for that. Thank 2K for that, actually. Anyway, so these are the two files here's the dot model file that i need to get inside of this png file and the way i'm going to do that is i'm going to come to my desktop but i need to open open up 7-zip and then go to my desktop so i'm just going to type in the address for my desktop here here it is i'm on my desktop then find pn find this file png 6293 png here it is double click it I'm inside of it now and I'm actually gonna grab I'm sorry guys I'm getting a notification on my phone if you hear that I'm not sure all right so the next thing is sorry I need to 
if you look, this file is already inside of here. It's right here. But uh, I would drag this in. I'm going to drag this in and replace it. But before I do that, I'm going to get the um, high head scene file out of here. Put it on my desktop. I'm going to open up Notepad++. And I highly suggest doing this every time you make a new cyberface. Going to open up highhead.scene in Notepad++. I'm going to show you guys how to clean up inside of this file. Press Control F and search for dot model. Press enter. Then it takes us to the first instance of the dot model. And we're just gonna, you see it's right here. This file name is this one. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to replace that. I'm going to name it. Um, what is this guy's name? Marcus Young, I believe. Marcus Young. So I'm going to name this file highhead dot Marcus Young two. K nineteen C O N V for con for conversion. Then I'm gonna copy that full file name that I just typed high head dot marcus young two K nineteen dot com. I mean two K nineteen C O N V dot model. Copy that. Then I'm gonna come over here and rename this file. And you guys might not have the extension showing on yours um, if it doesn't say dot model when you go to rename it then don't worry about replacing the dot model part but I have extensions showing on mine so and I know I'm still gonna get questions about this because all of this can be very confusing but anyway so I renamed it all right so now the dot model file matches the one inside of the instructions and then I'm going to come down the line below and come right behind that right in front of that comma and go right in front of that comma right and then I'm just going to select everything and go all the way down 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 until I come to the very last dot model file so now I'm all the way at the bottom I need to come up all right, here's the last dot model file, but I need to go right behind that bracket underneath it. All right, got everything selected. Press backspace and it deleted a lot of information, but it does have this information right here. And then the next step, I come down to where it says target high head. I come right in front of that comma and I select the comma all the way down to in right before the next comma so then I press backspace and I'm good to go press save then close all right so now we just edited the high head dot scene file to be we've cleaned it up to where we only need this 3d model file so I'm going to don't delete the math nodes. Do not delete the math nodes. Only delete, uh, only delete all of these dot model files. I'm gonna delete those. Click OK. And this chest color is Carmelo Anthony's original tattoos. So uh, this chest color thing here. So I'm gonna delete this file, this chest color file, and I'm going to delete this chest color file and then well, my PNG thing keeps moving over there so I'm just gonna leave it there I'm going to grab this high head scene file that I just edited in notepad plus plus and the model file and drag them over click yes and now my my files are in here there's Marcus Young dot model um, the high head scene. Now I also need to edit the appearance. 
info so that his skin tone is what it's supposed to be. So I need to figure out what is Marcus Young's skin tone. So I go back to my folder with the Marcus Young files from 2K19. And I'm going to open up Notepad++ and then I'm going to drag this appearance info into Notepad++ to open it up. It says that Marcus's skin color is one. All right. So, all right. So, skin color is one. I can close that. So now I have to get this appearance file out of the inside of this PNG file and drag it to my desktop and open notepad plus plus again and then this time open this appearance file which is different from the last one see this one says skin color 5 that's Carmelo Anthony's so I'm gonna type 1 instead of 5 press save close that minimize what's wrong All right, guys, hold on one second. All right, guys, I have no idea what I was saying. <sighs> All right, so if you heard yelling or screaming in the background, that was my wife running from an imaginary spider that she saw in her dream. Let's move forward. All right. Um, I don't know where I was. I think I was on appearance. On the appearance thing. And I had just changed uh, the skin tone in this file. So I'm going to drag this appearance file in here. Click yes because I do want to overwrite the one that's in there. Let me just make sure this is the one. Skin color one. Okay, that's it. That's the one. So now I have the correct high head scene file in here, the new one. The new appearance info.rdat file in here. The correct dot model file is in here. Um everything is great. Everything is good as far as that's concerned. So I'm gonna close this seven zip window. See, all right, and then this appearance file and this high head dot scene file. Let me empty my recycling bin, but I'm going to drag these to my recycle bin. Even this dot model file, drag it over there. And now I'm going to take this PNG file that I just edited within 7zip and the original face dot if file. I'm going to copy both of those to my 2K20 Wegua folder. Um, let's see. 2K20 Wegua folder. I'm going to paste it in. 6293. And I have a little folder, I mean a little um, text file here that I keep. Keep my, oh, that's not it. Faces. Here it is. Where I let myself know which faces I've updated. So 6293 It's going to be Marcus Young. Marcus Young converted. Ah, man, I'm typing the wrong stuff. Paste. So now I know what file that is file save so the 6293 it's Marcus Young so I'm gonna go in game and make sure it works I'm gonna change this one from Shammy Wells read current player 629 was it 6293 I already forgot yeah 6293 all right
All right. So it's still showing Shammy Wells, but if I go to edit player, it should update. Please update. The eyes match up very good. I'm going to go to signature and oh man, this mouth and the eyes match up very good. It's just the um, eyelashes that don't match up quite correctly, but I'm leaving it like this. This looks good. I mean, those eyelashes, I can move back or forth. If I put a headband on him, he's going to look weird. I'm going to show you. See, I got to fix the headband too. I'm so tired of this. All right. I'm going to upload this video as long as it is.